In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Lord Jesus Christ, 
only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Yes, sir. 
mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. So the origin of the rosary, as we know, goes back to the 13th century with the Dominicans. The rosary remains a favorite devotion among Catholics because it permits us 
to meditate on the principal mysteries of our Lord's life, passion, and resurrection. That there should be a Mass to Our Lady of the Rosary is linked with uh, an important historical event. On October 7, 1571, the Christian fleet gained an overwhelming victory over the Turkish fleet at Lepanto, uh, Navpaktos, Greece. The victory was attributed to the fact that at the time of the battle, rosary confrat confraternities in Rome were reciting the rosary asking Our Lady's intercession with God on behalf of the Christian Navy, and the Pope asked them to do that. To commemorate this victory, Pope Pius V instituted the Feast of Our Lady of Victory to be celebrated in the city of Rome. And two years later, Pope Gregory XIII changed its name to that of the Most Holy Rosary. Then in 1716, Pope Clement XI extended the feast to the Universal Church in thanksgiving for another Christian victory, also over the Turks, but this time at uh, Petrovaradin, Yugoslavia. This feast was originally celebrated on the first Sunday in October, and in 1913, it was assigned to October 7th, the anniversary of the victory at Lepanto. So that explains all of that is how we end up today with a feast for Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. And here in this diocese, we celebrate it as a, a feast rather than just a memorial because uh, she's a patroness of our, our diocese and our cathedral is named after her. So Our Lady Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, love the rosary, <laughs> love the rosary. Say it consistently. It makes all the difference in the world. Um, Our Lady gave it to us as such a beautiful, beautiful prayer. And um, it's one of those ways to, every day, look at the beauty of Jesus Christ. I've talked a lot about looking at the gospel in uh, uh, contemplation so that our Lord's beauty can radiate and fire the soul up uh, with his beauty it's the heart of the apostolate. The soul of the, the apostolate is mental prayer. That's from a classic book um, written by a Frenchman named Chotard. But uh, you absolutely need, we need mental prayer. Well, the rosary can be that for us. That type of prayer of communion with the Lord, looking at the beauty of the Lord's life, a, a snippet of it with the five mysteries, if we just take five mysteries a day, and uh, letting the beauty of uh, his life uh, transform our hearts, warm and illumine our, uh, our hearts. Uh, the rosary is such a great uh, prayer for that. Or the rosary can be an intercessory prayer at the same time. You know, we're certainly interceding, asking Our Lady uh, for things, but you can put into the rosary, use the rosary to put into the Blessed Virgin Mary's heart everything that has to be put into her heart. Uh, every day and uh, raise up our family members, our friends, the biggest problems that we're aware of, the election <laughs> coming up. So we have the prayer of the rosary this coming uh, Saturday. Hopefully a bunch of people show up for that, asking Our Lady really to protect our nation and uh, direct all the graces so that um, our Lord's will is done, especially that human life is protected even in the womb. So love the rosary love the rosary make it a part of every day of your life so my morning routine routine uh, is always a good uh, hour and a half in front of the blessed sacrament and probably about 45 minutes it takes me a little long to get through the rosary because i go off in all kinds of directions but about 45 minutes uh, with the rosary uh, every morning and it makes all the difference in the world how do how do graces happen uh, for a pastor in uh, his parish, Our Lady, the pastor gives everything to the Blessed Virgin Mary in the rosary in front of the Blessed Sacrament every morning, and she makes it all happen. <laughs> so say the rosary. Say the rosary. Love Our Lady. Uh, let the rosary be a weapon that you always carry, uh, carry with you.
Now with great trust in our Lord's goodness and his mercy towards us, we bring to him our needs. For the whole church, that the guidance of the Holy Spirit be our strength during these difficult times, we pray to the Lord. For those in positions of political power, that they be blessed with the zeal and eagerness of Paul in serving their communities, we pray to the Lord. For all who hunger, that the Lord fill their every physical and spiritual need, we pray to the Lord. For the community gathered here today, that God continue to guide us as we strive to do his will, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, and particularly for today's Mass Intention, Nanette K. Bodart, and all of our family members, friends, and relatives who've gone before us, that they rest in the eternal peace with God in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you for hearing our petitions. We ask that you use these prayers joined to the sacred heart of your Son in this Eucharist to accomplish your glory. All this we pray through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord's sacrifice and praise the Lord Jesus for our good and for Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially 
as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have do done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit like, upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once again, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the whole world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Salve Regina. Mater misericordiae, vita dulcedo, et spes nostra sale, a te clamamos, ex ulas filii eve, a te suspiramus, gependes et Every cord is hot or lost. 